how to fix error code 279 roblox hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day i bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking and discussing about the error code 279 that i'm pretty sure many of you receive in roblox okay now this error code is uh you could say pretty common a lot of people get this error code okay it's basically a box which says disconnected fail to connect to the game id 17 connection attempt failed error code 279 okay that's what it basically um says in uh the whole drop down gray box error that it gives you so obviously in this video i am going to be discussing the methods on how you are going to be fixing this issue for yourself okay so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to learn all the ways that you can fix this error code so yeah once we've established that basically let's get straight into the fun part of the video so to start things off first of all obviously you are going to want to establish if your roblox runs normally like obviously if the main server link does not work well or some you know main server backend has a problem then obviously there might be an issue with your browser or and you can you know change that or what you can do is follow these discrete steps that i'm about to show you so you're going to go and search down here and you're going to open up the, the command prompt okay now once you open up your command prompt okay you're going to basically write a few things and don't worry it's not difficult just follow me and uh, i'm going to show you pretty easily okay and do remember to open this up as an administrator okay so obviously i am the administrator so it opened up pretty simply now you're going to write ip config okay space i'm going to do slash f l u s h d n s okay now what this will do is it will successfully flush the dns resolver cache so if you enter that look at that windows ip configuration successfully flushed the, the dns resolver cache now you're going to do a little bit more things you're going to do net s h w i n s o c k okay and then you're going to enter and look at that so commands in this context so it's going to give you all the commands so what you're going to do is you're going to carefully look at the commands and you're going to write n e t s h w i n s o c k and you're going to do reset okay like that now you're going to enter this and what this will do is it's going to as you can see reset the windsaw catalog to a clean slate and for this to actually work you're going to have to restart your system and once you restart your system trust me your roblox should start working okay what you have done right now is you're flushed your dns with any temporary cache you know because roblox most of the times when you're playing it leaves some temporarily files and uh, caches in your basic dns or your system and what that does is it leads to a lot of you could say unwanted specimens in your um, basic roblox folders so that basically collides with the lines of the server and that could lead to you know error codes like 279 so restart your computer and it should work but in the case in the case we are to say that it still has issues then you're going to come over to your control panel okay as so now once we are in our control panel what we're going to do over here is we're going to go on network and internet okay once you go here you're going to go on network and sharing center now once you're over here as you can see your access type so your access type is internet and your connection is this okay so obviously you're going to make sure that the connection is well and good you're going to check everything if your speed is good enough the bytes that are being sent and received are good enough if they are then uh you're going to basically open up the properties okay once you open up the properties, you're going to go to the Internet Protocol version 4. This is basically your IPv4 address. I'm going to double click on it. And obviously right now it's on automatic and you don't necessarily need to change this if you don't want to mess around with your IP. But if you must, you may, then you're going to go here. You're going to go on DNS 
and you're going to write the DNS one, 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 and then you're going to write one again. So this is going to be your DNS and you're going to activate it. And uh, yeah, that should fix things for you. Okay, because you're obviously flushing your DNS because 279 is mainly a DNS error. So once you do that, reload everything and your Roblox should be per perfectly fine and everything should be good to go. So yeah, basically that is how you're going to be fixing your error code 279 on Roblox in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So yeah, basically that is about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.